What's up, guys? Dave from Betson.com. Uh, gonna go over my Thursday, December seventeenth NBA uh, daily fantasy lineups and uh, bets for tonight. Uh, we'll start with daily fantasy. Uh, I like Lou Williams at fifty-two hundred. Uh, Houston is playing pretty poorly against the point guard position, and Williams has been playing well. This is a high point total game, a solid matchup, and uh, just a great price. I like a lot of great prices at like 5K tonight. Uh, I also like Patrick Beverly at 5K. Uh, he's been playing 35 minutes a game the last few. Uh, that should continue, or should that continue, uh, he will be worth that price tag tonight as he matches up uh, versus the Lakers defense. At shooting guard, uh, I, I like Kobe tonight. Uh, I like paying for shooting guards, and uh, this is actually a great price to pay for someone as consistent as Kobe with that high of a ceiling. So he's always a pretty good price, 6100 but tonight he plays the Rockets at home, what should be a high-scoring game in L.A. He's playing about 30 minutes a game, and he's had some huge ones lately. He had 50 uh, fantasy points a few games ago. Fantasy Crunchers has his opponent, Houston, 30th. Uh, against the shooting guard while DraftKings has them at 15th. So that's quite a difference there, but a solid play nonetheless. At small forward, I like LeBron at 9,900. Uh, he's been putting up about 40 to 60 fantasy points a game, and he's playing OKC at home in what should be a decently high point total, uh, 205. Uh, LeBron and Love uh, are going to have some huge games uh, for the Cavs tonight at home to get it done in what very well could be a championship preview in my opinion. Like I said before, for power forward, I like Love at 8K. I like the uh, forwards tonight. OKC is uh, somewhat weak against the forward this year. Uh, small forward and point f uh, power forward in terms of fantasy scoring. So I like Love and James tonight. And, uh, you know, there's only a few games to choose from. Um, Scola tonight at 5,100. Uh, I don't love him. I think this guy's been overpriced all year. And he hasn't done anything. Uh, however, tonight I will be taking a chance on him as there are not that many great games and uh, or there's not that many games in general and great and not that many great matchups. He happens to have the best matchup uh, of the small forwards out there versus the Hornets. Um, and I couple that with the fact that Toronto is still suffering from injuries and their big men should still see some of these few extra minutes due to this. At the center position, I like Clint Capella uh, for 5,500. Uh, he's got a great matchup tonight versus the Lakers, um, who are not only uh, bad at defense and rebounding, but really bad against the center. Um, he saw 13 minutes a game or 13 minutes last game due to an illness, but he still scored 20 fantasy points, and he's had a very or he's had a few very quality showings in the f uh, past 10 games. He should see uh, about 30 minutes again tonight. Uh, I like him over Howard because he should be less owned, is cheaper, and uh, Dwight's just. Um, I think he's checking out of the season soon. He's been grumbling about being traded. I think he's trying to uh, get into the new Tyler Perry uh, movie as opposed to win a championship. So uh, I like Capella to start coming up, and I especially like him tonight. And last but not least, I like uh, Roy Hibbert at 4,700. Uh, he's been playing above his pay grade lately. Uh, he should continue to see the minutes uh, tonight because of that. He's got a solid matchup in a, what should be a high-scoring game versus the weak defense and rebounding of the Rockets. So I love him at 4,700 tonight. As far as who I'm betting, um, I went 0-1 last night, losing my Nets plus 5 pick by a point as they lost by 6 against the Heat at home. There's only three games tonight, and I do like two of them. Uh, I'll probably put one unit on the Hornets minus 1 because uh, I do like them at home. But uh, I like the Lakers uh, plus 6 a little more against the Rockets at home. I think this is just too many points uh, for the home team, uh, Lakers here. Uh, who have been playing decently at home, and uh, they're playing against the traveling Rockets who still uh, don't know who the, they are quite yet, and they're still trying to find themselves. I think the Lakers win this one outright, or at least keep it very close to the end. So, hope you guys win some money, and uh, join me tomorrow uh, on BetSum.com for more NBA, DFS, and sports picks.